Okay, so everyone's been talking about ChatGPT and for good reason. It's an incredible technology that can help you in all kinds of ways, including when you're job searching. So in this video, we're gonna cover a few very simple ways you can use ChatGPT to save time, write better application documents, and move a little bit closer to unlocking the opportunities that you're hoping for. I'll also explain a few mistakes you should definitely avoid when using ChatGPT. I'll actually show you this on my computer, so let's go there now. The first way you can use ChatGPT is to quickly identify job and industry keywords. This can give you a good idea of what type of phrases you should include in your resume and your LinkedIn profile. For those who don't know, keywords are important industry-specific terms and skills that are mentioned very often in job descriptions. For example, cloud computing or B2B outbound sales. To use ChatGPT to get a list of keywords for your job in your industry, first you want to find and copy one or more job posts. After you do that, you get on ChatGPT and you send a message that says, here's a list of job posts, make a list of the most important industry keywords and rank them in order of frequency. Then you paste the job posts. ChatGPT will give you a list of all the important keywords. You'll take that list and then use those words in your resume and LinkedIn profile, especially in skills sections. For example, I wrote my question and then I found three job posts on LinkedIn for different software engineer roles at Amazon Web Services. I copy and pasted them into my message and within a few seconds, ChatGPT sent me this. Here are the top keywords ranked in order of frequency and the number of times they appear in the job descriptions. Some of these are a little bit general, like experience and design, but architecture, cloud computing, software development, those are all things that we should definitely include in our resume and our LinkedIn profile if we were to apply for one of these roles. The next tip is really helpful, especially for non-native English speakers. You can use ChatGPT to create correct resume bullets. To do that, message, can you make a list of resume bullet points for these actions? Then just write a bunch of information about what you've done at a particular job. It'll organize all of this into correctly formatted resume bullet points, which you can then add specific details to to make the bullets more unique. The reason I think this is so helpful for non-native English speakers is even if you type your job information incorrectly, ChatGPT will still give you bullet points that have correct grammar and spelling and vocabulary. Here's an example proving how this works. I asked, can you make resume bullet points for these actions? And then I intentionally wrote this with mistakes. I said, I close the many sales deal and earn big money. The clients appreciate to me and give the satisfaction rating 4.9 out of 5. There are mistakes here, but the three bullet points that it spit out are perfect. Consistently closed numerous sales deals and exceeded revenue targets, resulting in significant financial gains. Maintained excellent client relationships and received a high satisfaction rating 4.9 out of 5.0, and then utilized exceptional negotiation and communication skills to effectively close sales deals and drive business growth. So this can be a great starting point for your resume. Here we have our points organized and we know that they're written correctly. However, we should still add more detail to make these bullet points a little bit more unique to us. If we look at this first one, closed numerous sales deals, exceeded revenue targets, resulting in financial gains. It would be much more effective if I actually put the number of sales deals what the revenue targets were, and the overall amount of financial gain. We could improve this bullet point by saying, closed 45 B2B sales deals in one year, achieving 127% revenue target and generating $390,000. That is a great bullet point. So use this to organize your thoughts well and get bullet points that you know are written correctly. Then you can customize them or, or add some numbers and detail to make them really stand out. 
The next way you can use ChatGPT to help you is to plan answers to common job-specific interview questions. If you go on YouTube, you can find tons of information on tell me about yourself, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, but ChatGPT can go a little bit deeper than that and help you plan answers based on your resume to some more industry-specific technical questions. First, you should message what are the most common interview questions for, and then the specific job type applying to, and then the specific company. As an example, I wrote what are common job interview questions for someone applying for data scientist roles at Microsoft. Then we got a list of 10 questions related to data science. How would you approach a problem when you have limited data? Can you explain a data science project you've completed in the past? What's your experience with machine learning algorithms? These can be a little bit more targeted than the more general, where do you see yourself in five years style questions. Once you get your list of questions, you can message ChatGPT again and say, if I copy and paste my resume and then interview questions, can you help me plan outlines to answer the questions? After that, paste your resume and paste the list of questions you got from the earlier exchange. When you do that, you'll get some example answers that are actually customized based on your resume. So I did that here, and I actually pasted my own personal resume into ChatGPT, along with three common questions. Imagining I was applying for a sales role. What's your approach to managing client accounts? What sales experience do you have? And what's your greatest achievement? And I was actually pretty impressed with what ChatGPT came up with because these are all highly tailored to what I talk about in my resume. However, like with the resume bullets, you probably would wanna use these as starting points and then add a little bit more information. When we look at this answer that talks about my approach to managing client accounts, it's good, but it's still lacking some examples and detail. So I could take this, I could add a few numbers or notable examples from my career, and then I would want to connect this to the company I'm applying to. So I would also incorporate some information about that company. Talk about how my approach for managing client accounts would work for them and their business. But still, interviews can be stressful and this can save you a ton of time and really put you in the right direction when it comes to getting your answers prepared. So in summary, ChatGPT and other technologies like it can be awesome resources that you should definitely take advantage of. However, for something as important as the future of your career, don't rely solely on AI. Whatever ChatGPT creates can be a great starting point, but it probably shouldn't be the final version of your resume or your interview answers. Whatever you get from ChatGPT, you should probably still practice and get feedback from a person to make sure you make the best impression possible when it matters. Okay, so that's about all for this video. I would love to hear what do you think of ChatGPT and other similar technologies? You can let me know in the comments below if you've used it, if you like it, if you don't like it. I would love to hear your perspective. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.